हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इंटरव्यू विल आस्क यू और गिव यू सम क्वेश्चन लाइक राइट ए क्वेरी टू फाइंड द थर्ड हाईएस्ट सैलरी फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉय टेबल इट माइट बी एम्प्लॉय टेबल और एनीथिंग ओके सो डोंट थिंक लाइक इट इज ऑलवेज एम्प्लॉय टेबल आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द थर्ड हाइएस्ट सैलरी सो समाइम्स दे कैन गिव यू द क्वेश्चन लाइक दैट फाइंड द एंथ हाइएस्ट सैलरी सो आई विल बी राइटिंग अ वन क्वेरी I will give you uh, three examples here. First, I will uh, use the sub query. So the norm normal query that we can write here, like uh, we are having this employee table, and we are having several records here. This is the salary column. Seventy five thousand is the highest salary, and second highest salary is sixty five, and third highest salary is fifty thousand, and fourth highest salary forty five like this. So I want to find out the first highest, uh, like third highest salary from the employee table. So let's write the query. Select. salary from here i need to write max max salary max is a function available in sql server select max of salary from employee where salary less than select max of salary from employee where salary uh, less than select max of salary from employee table is this if i will try to execute this query we will get the result as 50000 okay so the problem is suppose if i want to find out the fourth highest salary then i have to write one more sub query suppose if i want to find out the fifth highest salary then in that case this query will not work for me and also here i need to again put one more sub query then again and again suppose here right now i am finding the third highest salary so i have written two sub queries here this query this one sub query and this one sub query so it is not a right approach now i will try to give you second approach let me write second query so here i will write select min of salary from employee where salary n here i will write sub query select top 3 i am using here top top 3 salary from from employee order by salary descending d e s c okay so this sub query i am using if i will try to execute this query then what output i will get here let's see 50000 i will get the same output so like this we can write our query and we can give as salary now we can see 50000 okay so it will work for like uh, uh, suppose if i am trying to find out the third highest salary okay suppose If I want to find out the fourth highest salary, in that case, I will just need to put four, and then here I will get my result forty five thousand. Suppose tomorrow I want to fifth highest salary, then I will put five, and I can write here. I just need to execute it, and I will get forty thousand. This is the second approach. Now I will go for another approach, that is third approach. Okay, so let's write the query. So select salary from Employee, suppose I need to give a alias name here. E. Let me break this query so that you can understand better. Where two is equal to select count and here distinct distinct of salary here salary from E two from employee. I will give alias name as E two and I will put here E one, E one and E two. Then let's break again. Where E two dot salary greater than e1 dot salary okay so if i will try to execute this query i will also get the same result 50000 uh, there is some mistake in the query uh, incorrect syntax actually i need to close this so let's close it now execute it again and execute i got 50000 okay so this is the three ways we can write uh, our query suppose if i want to find out the Fourth highest salary. So I will write here three, and I will get here I think forty-five. Uh, yeah, forty-five. So this is the forty-five. This one. Suppose tomorrow I want to find out the another like uh, fifth highest salary. I can directly write here four. So like that we can work. Suppose if interviewer will give you uh, one question or query to find out the nth highest salary or third highest salary. Don't go with this approach. Okay. If you will go with this approach, uh, interview interviewer may be, may be satisfied. But if you will go with this approach, second approach or third approach, then your impression will be good on the interviewer. So he will understand like you are good in the 
writing sql query okay guys so don't go with this approach this approach is very old and it will take lots of time okay so it is uh, like a basic approach okay guys so i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment thank you bye bye thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks